everyone, I'm Trey Wittish. Here's your entertainment report for Monday, June 7th. Outspoken gay marriage supporter Elton John spent the weekend serenading guests at the wedding of conservative radio host Rush Limbaugh. While the two personalities may be on opposite ends of the political spectrum, Sir Elton sang in a Saturday's early hours at the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach, Florida. Among the 400 guests of Limbaugh and Catherine Rogers were Carl Rove, James Carville, and Rudolph Giuliani, among others. Sandra Bullock made a return to the public spotlight for the first time since her split from husband Jesse James over the weekend, appearing at Spike's Guys Choice Awards and the MTV Movie Awards to accept an award for Entertainer of the Year and MTV's Generation Award. At both shows, Bullock poked fun at her recent marital woes and joked that it was time for things to get back to normal because her therapy was expensive. Meanwhile, the Twilight series cleaned up at the MTV Awards, taking home the trophy for Best Film. Stars Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart took home the Best Actor and Best Actress awards as well. And Shrek Forever After topped the box office again this past weekend, grossing $25.3 million in another soft weekend for the movies. The fourth film in the popular animated franchise has now grossed $183 million and may be on pace to be the lowest grossing film in the series. Coming in behind Shrek were Nicholas Stoller's Get Him to the Greek, which raked in $17.4 million, and Ashton Kutcher's and Katherine Heigl's Killers, which pulled in $16.1 million. Reports say that Charlie Sheen may be set to work as a theater intern this summer as part of a plea deal regarding a domestic incident involving his wife over the holidays. Sheen is expected to plead guilty to misdemeanor chargers and will reportedly intern at Aspen, Colorado's Theater Aspen during the day and spend his nights in jail for the next month. Theater Aspen director Paige Price says that during a service, Sheen's duties will utilize his acting skills and that he may possibly teach a master class for professional actors. And that's your entertainment report for Monday, June 7th. I'm Trey Wittish. Be sure to stay logged on to RTTnews.com for all your entertainment headlines.